Praise the Lord, everyone. This is Pastor Rodney coming to you again with more instruction from God's Holy Word and your today's drive-by. Listen, I want to talk to you all today really briefly about the importance of studying God's Word. Um, the scripture teaches us that it says that thy word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our pathway. And, it's, and then it tells us in the book of Psalms that how can a young man cleanse his way? It says, by taking heed to thy word, with my whole heart have I sought you. Oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. For thy word have I hidden in my heart that I might not sin against thee. You know, it's important to know that the scripture teaches us that the heart of man is desperately wicked. Who can know it? And then it teaches us in the book of Galatians, it says that um, the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these. And it talks about fornication, adultery, lasciviousness, evil sexual thinking. It talks about murder, wrath, drunkenness, jealousy, envy. All these different things are in our flesh that are dormant and resident in our flesh. And then uh, on top of that, we have a heart that is given towards selfishness. You know, as a human race, we are very selfish in the way we think. And ultimately, when, when push comes to shove, we will save ourselves. And then on top of that, we live in a world of immorality, a world where there is so much carnality, there's so much evil in the world. There's so much uh, negative thoughts and things that you could focus on that can, you know, really cause your mind to think in a bad way. The Word of God says that even righteous Lot vexed his soul daily, hearing the conversations and seeing the deeds of the evil people that was around him. So I'm, I'm talking to you all today about the uh, how desperate we need to be about escaping from the, the, the madness and the craziness that's in the world. When I look at now in this political race and in uh, uh, different sort of uh, things that are going on in politics, you know, it is a sad reality of where we are as a nation and as a people and, and particularly as a world. When you look on CNN and you look on different news reportings, you'll find, you know, so much devastation all around. And so the scripture once again teaches us how can someone cleanse their way? And it says by taking heed to thy word. So, but let me ask you this question. How can you take heed to God's word if you're not studying it? How can you um, really seek God's face and know God's ways if you're not reading his word, if you're not studying, musing, and meditating on his word. The scripture says in the book of Deuteronomy, it says that you will have great success when you meditate in his word both day and night. And so I'm here to tell you, and I've been sent to tell you, that it is so important, it is so vitally essential for you to study the Word of God, and not just for you, for all of us, to study the Word of God on a daily basis and to allow His words, God's words, to absorb into our spirit, to meditate in our hearts. Because that way, we can sort of learn to have um, the things that are necessary to counteract what is coming up against us. Both the enemies that are outside of us and the inner me that's inside of me. It's important to know that the Word of God is all that is uh, capable of causing a man or woman to make the right decisions. Because in this day and time, the only way we're going to live properly is if we walk by faith, is if we trust in the living God. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says, trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not into your own understanding. In all of your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. It is important to remember that the word of God is what God gives us in order to navigate through life and through every generation and every time. It's when men begin to seek the face of God that they will stop seeking the things of the world. It is important. David said, early will I rise to seek your face. It is important to know that we have to make Bible study and the, the study and meditation and the memorization of God's word uh, a priority in our lives. It is so important, more than you do with your planning your vacations or planning your food or, or planning who you're going to hang out with or planning your marriage or planning your relationships or whatever the case may be. It is important 
important that you go before God. For the scripture says, come unto me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He says, take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lonely, humble of heart, and come and you shall find rest for your souls. He tells us to come and to learn of him. And the only way we're going to learn of him is by studying his word. There's so many people that are living in the counsel of their own spirit and saying, oh, well, I feel God is telling me this. But my friends, God will not go against his word. And he has given us his word in the Holy Bible in order to um, uh, learn God's perfect ways. And then we can connect with him and know how God and what God has to say on a ver variety of topics. I'm here to tell you that whatever you're going through, it's written in the word of God. Whatever challenges you're facing, it's written in the word of God. And all you have to do is study. Paul told Timothy, study to show yourself approved unto God. A workman need not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. It is important that when we study the word, when we meditate in the word, then we will then start to discern the difference between what is me and what is God. There's so many people that walk in the counsel of their own will and their own mind. But when you study God's word, his Holy Spirit will come and make that word living in your heart. And you will find yourself now saying, oh, no, that's not God. That's me. That's me telling me to do that. That's me that's leading me to do that. So it's important. Study God's word. And for those of you who don't have a Bible study or maybe don't know how to study God's word or how really to get deeper into God's word, you can join with us. You know, if you look on my um, site on Facebook or if you send me a text or email or respond to, to um, this thing, I will send to you our conference line number, where it's tonight at 7 p.m., Tuesday night, seven every Tuesday night at 7 p.m., we have Bible study where we open the Word of God and we go line by line, precept by precept, and we explain it in detail and allow people to ask questions if you don't understand. And so it's important. The scripture says, in all you're getting, get understanding. And that's what we want. We want understanding of God's word. So I encourage you in the name of our Lord, I encourage you join with us in Bible study. If you have a church um, home that you attend to go to their Bible study regularly, regularly people of God means every week. Because I meet so many people that says, well, I've gone twice a month and that's regular. No, that's not regular. Go every week. If they have it every other day, go every other day. If they have it three times a week, go three times a week because you need it. You need the word of God as much as possible to, to fuse with your spirit and your mind and your heart so that it starts flowing out of you. And remember, the word of God says from the abundance of the, the heart, the mouth speaks. So what you have allowed to, to spend more most of the time in your life. For the Bible says, where your um, treasure is, there your heart will also be. So if, when you start to love God's word, when you start to treasure God's word, it will go deep into your heart and it will um, uh, cause for your lips to speak of God's word. That means you'll walk by faith and not by sight. So God bless you. I know this video is a little bit long today, but it is so important for us to study God's word. And I encourage you, if you have any questions, please ask me. And whatever I can answer, whatever God has given me in wisdom, in the form of wisdom, I will share with you. But it's going to be based out of the word of God and not out of my own counsel, not out of my own intellect, not out of psychology or philosophy, not any of man's tradition, but out of the living word of God. Because your faith needs to be in God and not in anyone else. So God bless you. I love you real good. In the name of our Lord, while I'm stuck in traffic, I said, hey, why not post this video? God bless you you.